Hey everyone, here's a question on fraction. The question is, represent 2 by 7, 5 by 7 and 6 by 7 on number line. Now here we have to represent this given number on number line. And um, if you look at these numbers, we have a same denominator and all these given fractions are a proper fraction. Now what a proper fraction? Whenever the numerator is less than denominator, then we're going to call it as a proper fraction. If you see here, 2 by 7. 2 is smaller than 7, right? Similarly, 5 by 7. 5 is less than 7. And 6 by 7, 6 is also less than 7. So all these given fractions are a proper fraction. Now, why I'm saying a proper here? Because all the proper fraction lie between 0 and 1. Okay? All this number will come between 0 and 1. So this number I have to plot between 0 and 1. So let us draw the number line first. Here is the number line. Now I'm going to divide the number line into seven equal parts between 0 to 1. Now here is the first one. Now this is 0 here. I said seven equal parts. Now why I said seven? Because here denominator is seven. That's why. Okay. When denominator is seven, whatever de denominator you have, that one equal parts you have to do. So between 0 to 1, seven equal parts. Now this is 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this will be 1. Alright. Now, here I said 7 parts. So, you don't have to count these lines. Don't do that. Parts means I'm talking about the space here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 equal parts you have to do. Now, the first number will be 1 by 7 here. After 0, 0 will be 0 by 7 or you can just simply write down 7. Oh, sorry, or you can just write down 0 there instead of 0 by 7. So 0, next will be 1 by 7. Then this will be 2 by 7. Here we have 3 by 7. 4 by 7. Sorry, it's not 4 by 5. 4 by 7. Then we have 5 by 7. Then 6 by 7. The last will be 7 by 7. Or we can write down 1. 7 and 7 will get cancelled. We'll get 1. Okay. Okay. Then... Let us plot the given numbers. So first one is 2 by 7. So 2 by 7 is here. So I'm going to mark this one. So this is 2 by 7. Okay. The next we have 5 by 7 which is here. So this is a 5 by 7. And next we have 6 by 7 which is next to it. That's it. Okay. So this is how you can do it. You have to just make sure that whatever denominator you have, we have to divide the given number between 0 and 1 into that many parts and do it. Now this is only happen if it's a proper fraction. If it is an improper fraction, it will not gonna lie between 0 to 1. It will lie between some other number that you have to check. And uh, that's it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.